Tencent has declined by more than 60% from its peak. Because of the Chinese regulations, they're facing some problems with their game segment. Plus, there is a decline in the Chinese economy due to that pandemic. They have stricter rules. Moreover, their earnings have declined. And that's why you see this massive decline in the stock price. But despite all those bad things, Tencent is now undervalued. And I believe that you can more than double your money at the current price. And I'll explain why I think so. And in this stock analysis, I'll help you to see their business model, their fundamentals, what opportunities they have, and the risk for this company. So stay with me to the end of this video and you'll find this stock analysis, the outlook for this business, and why Tencent is a good investment. And if you find value in this video, please give a like and subscribe to see more videos like this, because I want you to succeed. Let's begin. Tencent is a software company from China, and their business model is like this. The best way to understand this business, what they do, is to look at this image, especially in the center, where they have two apps, WeChat, together with Weixin, and the QQ app. Those are social media apps. It's kind of a combination between WhatsApp and Facebook, where users can socialize and share images and videos with others. Now, the difference between them is that QQ app was the first platform available on desktop. And then, as the mobile usage increased, they developed WeChat and Weixin, which are mobile apps, and they gained more attraction. Now, of course, you can use both, on mobile and desktop. Just for WeChat, you need first to log in on your mobile device, and then you can use it on your desktop. And the difference between WeChat and Weixin is that WeChat is for international users. This app is available in more than 200 countries. And Weixin is available only for Chinese people. They have stricter rules about social media, and they have to respect them. So those are their main differences. Plus, besides those main features, like socializing, sharing, Tencent provides more services. And the most important one is Weixin Pay, where users can make transactions and pay online. It's like Google Pay or other digital wallets. They charge a commission for every transaction. Plus, they provide other services like music and video, where users can have a subscription for premium content. Or they can use it for free, but they have to watch ads, which is another way of making money for Tencent. They provide a lot of services for free in order to attract more users, and then they can show them ads. The same business model as Facebook and Google plus other services, like Tencent Meeting, they also provide medical services, like insurance, and of course, access to games, as they develop a lot of them. Moreover, besides this ecosystem, they have an investment portfolio, where they invest in different companies around the world, both public and private companies, like NIO, an electric vehicle company, C Limited, an e-commerce company, Didi, which provides taxi services. You can pause this video and take a look at the top 15 holdings. Just keep in mind that those are public companies, and they also have private companies, which represent around half of their portfolio. And Tencent has five segments they make money from. The first one is social networks, where they make money from video and music subscriptions, plus other live events. They have over 200 million subscribers. The next segment is domestic games, where they have games like League of Legends, Honor of Kings, and others. They reported a decline in this segment because of the new regulations. I'll discuss later about that. And they make money by selling virtual items in games, plus from game subscription. The same for international games. And there they have other titles, like Valorant, V Rising, and others. The next segment is online advertising. As they have more than 1 billion users which use their apps, they show them ads in different formats. And the last important segment is fintech and business services, where they have that payment system, Weixin Pay, and they make money from commissions. Plus, they provide cloud services. So those are the most important segments. Gaming, advertising, online payments, and social networks. Now, let's see their fundamentals. Tencent has a market cap around 291 billion at the current price and pays a dividend around 0.64%. The revenue has decreased a little this year, and then it is expected to rebound next year in 2023 and grow further. And the same with the earnings. But after 2023, it is expected another decline. Those are the analyst estimates. You might see lower numbers or higher. This depends on Tencent, the Chinese government, and also on the economy. What I can say is that for sure they will find new ways to make more money in the future. Because they have over 1 billion users. And they can easily provide new services to them. They might face problems this year and the next one, but they will recover. And you might see higher profits in the future. And the total assets are 201.5 billion, of which 25.8 billion is cash and 90 billion is the value of their investment portfolio. And the total liabilities are 90.5 billion, of which the debt is around 47.8 billion. 
the debt is a little high, but they have low interest rates, under 4%, and as the inflation is so high, they will pay less than they took. So they are using free money for future investments. Plus, as they have over 15 billion in earnings, they can easily pay the debt in less than 5 years. Now, let's see what Apple doing this they have and then the risk for this company. As you see in this image, they have around 1.3 billion users on their apps WeChat and Weixin. They didn't disclose how many users they have in China, but I assume that there are more than 600 million. There are around 1.4 billion people in China and Tencent has 1.3 billion users from China and international. As you see, their accounts are still growing. Not that fast, but they keep moving up. Only on their QQ platform, they have a decline in their accounts. Because people prefer WeChat to QQ. Now, a big part of their future growth won't come from growing their accounts. Because in China, I think they already reached a lot of people. But their growth will come from their future services. They have over 200 million subscriptions for video and music content. And here, there is still place for growing. Plus, with the new regulations, Tencent has been hit hard. Because now children are allowed only 3 hours a week to play video games and spend less money per month. But adults can play games as long as they want. And that's why Tencent is focusing more on international games to gain more market share. And even though they have those regulations, they can still grow this gaming segment more in the future, both international and in China. Because the demand is there. And about the other segments, online payments and advertising, those will grow with the economy. The more Chinese people spend, the more money Tencent makes. The GDP is expected to grow by more than 5% in China. So Chinese people will have more money in the future. Plus, don't forget about their investment portfolio. They invest in many businesses and they might have some winners, which can increase their value even more. Moreover, they started two buybacks, as the stock price is cheap. They currently have 9.6 billion shares and they might decrease more in the future. This means your value will increase over time, if they continue to do buybacks. Now, let's see the risks they have. The main risk is the Chinese Communist Party. They might create new rules, which can affect social media, games and also the online payment industry. As I said, they allow children only 3 hours a week to play video games, on Fridays, weekends and other legal holidays. So children have a great life. I don't know what can be worse than this, but I don't think that they will ban video games. Because now every game developer has to get a license from the Chinese government in order to publish that game in China. They have to respect some rules. So the Chinese government has a better control over those games. Maybe they will increase the time spent on games in the future. When you invest in China, you have to think if that service or product is healthy for people. If the answer is yes, then you don't have to worry about the regulations. But if the answer is no, then you have to be aware of the regulations. Imagine a child playing video games 6 hours or more per day. This is not healthy for them in the long term. And that's why Chinese party creates new rules. They want to protect their people. And the same for social media and payments. You might see other regulations, which can affect them in the short term. But Tencent will change their business according to the new rules. And they'll continue to make money. I don't think that China wants to kill its winners. Because if they do that, nobody will ever invest in China. They need more investors in order to grow their economy. And you don't have to worry about the listing because Tencent is listed on the Hong Kong exchange. And another risk would be the competition. For instance, in the payment segment, they compete with Alipay from Ant Group, where Alibaba owns 33% of it. Plus, Tencent Cloud competes with Alibaba Cloud. And for social media, they compete with TikTok from ByteDance. The competition might affect their future growth in the long term. Now, let's discuss about investing in this company. As you see, the stock price has declined by more than 60%. And this is a great opportunity to take advantage, if you like this type of business, because the stock price is undervalued now. When you invest, you also have to see the risk and the reward. What are the scenarios? In this way, you are more protected against losing your money. And of course, if you have a marginal safety, it's even better. So the risk of investing in Tencent, the market cap might go to 200 billion if their growth slows. They might report lower earnings than expected if the economy slows, but for sure they'll rebound. And the reward, it depends on them how much they can grow. You might have a double, the market cap to be around 600 billion, or if they keep growing their earnings more in the future, then the market cap might be more than 900 billion. So it depends on you, if you like this business, what they do, and the return you might get, a double or even more. And tell me in the comments, where do you see this business in the next 10 years? And if you find value in this video, please give a like and subscribe to see more videos like this, because I want you to succeed.